Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. We have a very different video today. As you saw, I got up this morning. I had my protein coffee. I actually have it here in the car with me. I'm going to be sipping on it while I'm on the road. I am actually heading to Phoenix this morning. It is my dad's birthday. It is April 25th that I'm filming this video. And I figured since I'm here in Arizona now, I would go celebrate my dad's birthday with him by visiting his grave at the veteran at the VA cemetery in Phoenix. Phoenix is a little over a two hour drive for me. And I thought what better day to celebrate my dad and spend a little bit of time with him than on his birthday. So that is where we are headed this morning. You saw that I packed some snacks, my water, and I also packed a pair of tennis shoes because the VA cemetery isn't too far from Superstition Mountain. And when my dad passed away back in 2013, we buried some of his ashes. We, meaning my mom and I, buried some of his ashes at the foot of Superstition Superstition Mountain. That was one of his favorite places to go to take photos. He was really, really into hiking and photography. So I thought I would honor him as well today by doing a little hike myself, or at least walking around, around and exploring Superstition Mountain. Because the last time I was there in 2013, I remember it being absolutely stunning. So I packed some tennis shoes so that I can do a little hiking around. We're going to grab some lunch while we're in Phoenix. We'll just kind of see where the day takes us. So I know this is going to be a little bit more emotional of a what I eat in a day. I'm already feeling a little bit emotional about today. I'm excited to go see my dad and to spend his birthday with him, but of course it's still emotional for me. You know, the pain never completely heals. It just gets better as time goes on. So let's go ahead and get on the road and head towards Phoenix. the crummy lighting. I'm about an hour out of Phoenix and I actually just stopped at the gas station to use the restroom and I got a cup of ice because it didn't dawn on me to bring one of my tumblers full of ice for my water for the day. I brought my big half of a gallon which I plan on drinking the entire thing during this trip to Phoenix and while I was in the gas station I also picked up a little two pack of hard boiled eggs and I'm going to have those with some of my chetties and that's going to be my breakfast or my snack this morning while I travel the rest of the way to Phoenix. So I am about 15 minutes away from the cemetery and I just wanted to hop on and just kind of share this little bit of a raw, raw emotion with you. As soon as I got into Phoenix and as soon as I took the exit that takes me to the VA cemetery, I kind of felt this sense of peace, but also a little bit of sadness, if that makes sense. It feels good to be this close to my dad, and it feels good to know that I'm 15 minutes away from seeing his grave. I haven't been here to visit my dad for about four years. I ended up coming to Phoenix when I worked for the university for training, and I made a little detour and came out to the cemetery to visit his grave, but that was several years ago. So I feel peace but also excitement and sadness at the same time. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel once I actually pull into the cemetery. That may, may change things a little bit, but I'm also running all these different things through my head that I feel like I wanna say. You know, I, I don't know, that may sound weird, but I these things in my head are these situations that I want to say to him or talk about with him. I don't know, it's so weird to think about it. Like, I feel like I have so much to say to him and like updates. And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, but he knows everything that's going on. You know, he's watching over me. He knows that I've moved to Arizona. He knows everything, but I'm still compelled to just share everything. I found it right where I remember. I knew that he was by this little walking path over here. I decided to just sit down here in the gravel and just sit with my dad for a little bit. It's his birthday today. He would have been 74 years old today. 
and he's been gone now almost 10 years. It'll be 10 years in January. I also brought a penny to place on his grave because there's some symbolization for placing a coin on a grave and I believe it's to pay your respects. So since I'm here, I'm definitely gonna pay my respects. I said I wasn't gonna cry. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna cry today because there's nothing to cry about. There's nothing to cry about. This is a good thing. I'm here, I can be here, I can celebrate his birthday. There's nothing to cry about. So I just left the Dollar Tree after sitting there and talking with my dad for a while. I decided that I wanted to put some flowers or something on his grave besides the penny for paying my respects for his birthday. So I found this super fun red, white, and blue pinwheel, mainly for the 4th of July, but I thought this would be super cute with some flowers. And I went with the red, white, and blue uh, flowers as well. So I got three different bundles. And then I got this cute little guy, he's solar. I don't know if they'll keep this on his grave or not, or if it'll end up taking it off, but his eyes will light up at night. And I just thought that it was really cute. So I'm just going to set this in the gravel at the top of his grave where I'm going to put the flowers and the red, white, and blue pinwheel. So happy 74th birthday, Dad. It's so peaceful here. I mean, it's just somber but peaceful and I feel really good. I mean, despite the tears <laughs> and being a little bit sad, I mean, I feel really good and I'm, you know, really, really happy I came. I'm really happy I went and grabbed flowers for him, put them on his grave and just sat there and talked to him and spent time with him and it's good. It's been a really good day. I did look up Superstition Mountain, and I don't know why I thought that it was in Phoenix, but it's actually in Apache Junction, which if you didn't know was where my dad purchased a home to retire. He never even got to live in the home before he passed away, but Apache Junction is an hour outside of Phoenix, going the opposite way of where I want to go. So I just told my dad that next time I come to visit him, I'll plan a little bit better and plan for a trip to Apache Junction to Superstition Mountain. But today, just because of time crunch and everything, I'm going to find a spot local here to Phoenix that I can go just be out in nature and hike around and just be where my dad would have been if he was here on his birthday. He loved nature, loved photography. I don't know what's close by, but I just told him I was gonna find something, some way to spend nature in honor of him today. So I'm on my way to a scenic viewpoint here in Phoenix, just to kind of be in nature like my dad would have wanted to do. And I'm getting kind of hungry. It's 11 o'clock, so I'm going to have a serving of my Kirkland steak strips. And then after we do a little bit of scenic viewpoint or hiking, we'll go ahead and grab some lunch. So this whole hiking thing has been a complete, utter, epic fail. I can't find anywhere to go hiking around here. It tells me certain things and to turn certain places and go to certain parks. The last place I just went was supposed to be Camelback Mountain and ended up I ended up in a residential area with private property. So I just stopped on the side of the road, snapped a quick picture with some really pretty scenery up there, but there was nowhere to hike without being on someone's private property. So what I've decided to do is I'm still hungry for lunch. I'm going to start heading back towards home. I remember seeing on the way here places that I can pull off that said scenic. So we're just gonna see what we can find. First stop though is definitely getting some lunch. How do you uh, no, just the Monday special, please. Two, oh, four, thank you. Thank you. So since I've never been here, I decided to go to Filiberto's. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you like this place. I ordered their Monday special. It's three roll tacos with cheese and it's a whopping $2.04. So here is my lunch. Not bad for two bucks. I don't know that I'll eat it all. I might, cause I'm pretty hungry, but I'm still working on water. I've been drinking water the entire day today. One great thing about living in Arizona is I drink lots and lots and lots of water, but this is my lunch on the road. 10 out of 10. I'm 
home. I just got home. It is 2.47 p.m. If you hear a lot of banging in the background, they are finishing putting up the new trim or molding in our house. Hey you, are you happy I'm home, Diesel? He has the ring on because he's been licking his paw again and made it raw. She was very happy when I got home. She was super, super excited. I'm probably not going to have a morning snack since it's almost three o'clock and we are grilling burgers for dinner. I'm really excited about it. So the next meal I have will most likely be dinner. I'm going to sit down here in my office and do a little bit of work. Since I'm home, we all decided to come outside for a little bit. It is so loud in our house with them cutting and putting in all of the trim. I mean, it looks really good. I'll show you guys when I do my home tour, but it's a really, really nice day today, 91. So we thought we'd come out, hang out in the backyard for a little bit. Hey you, you happy mama home? Yes, I'm happy to be home to you. She always gets so excited when I come home. Are you excited too? Are you excited too? Hey, no fights. Oh yeah, so excited. Hey you, hey you. <laughs> one is not very patient. Hey, you be patient. Oh, he'll be back. There he is. <laughs> there he is. I'm ready to start making some dinner for tonight and I'm going to be using my brand new indoor grill from the brand Cusimax. Wait until you guys see this. It's incredible for indoor grilling and super, super easy cleanup. So this is a grill whenever you want, wherever you want grill, which is such a relief. You don't have to battle with grilling outside in a storm or choking to death on the smoke from your outdoor grill that gets trapped under your good old patio umbrella. The smokeless grill makes your house no cloudy smoke, just sitting around and grill and eat barbecue at home. This electronic indoor barbecue grill saves your money from going outside for barbecue. Enjoy it in a condo, RV, party, or patio without any trouble. It heats fast and cooks things thoroughly. You can set your time adjusting it all the way up to 450 degrees and it heats up so fast. It has double U heating tubes. This indoor griddle provides food for the fast and consistent heating, sealing in flavor and moisture that belongs in a juicy steak or in our case, a juicy burger. The perforated grill plate can filter out excess oil and leave the meat and grill marks just like a charcoal grill does. Bacon for breakfast, eggs, pancakes, they come out perfect on the griddle plate. It is a two-in-one grill and griddle with a glass lid. Just switch the top grill plate as you'd like. The electric barbecue grill and griddle provides you with possibilities that are endless to finish your whole day of meals in one device, saving the trouble of pulling out another pan, another barbecue. You can even cook bacon without any splatter or setting off your smoke detector, which seems to happen to me. The glass lid also keeps the heat well with the thermostat control, and it's super convenient to be able to see how your food is coming along. Using it and cleaning it and storing it is a breeze. The ultra clear LED smart display helps you adjust the temperature from 200 degrees to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The nonstick cooking heating plate allows the food to be taken out easily without any residue. Multiple detachable parts make the machine have no unreachable corners or crevices and makes it super, super easy to clean. You can see how dirty my grill got just from cooking the burgers and the zucchini. And you're also going to see how incredibly easy it is to clean up the griddle. The dishwasher, they are dishwasher safe parts. The glass lid, the two heating plates, and the silver heat reflector can all go into your dishwasher. I did go ahead and throw the grill plate here that I'm washing as well as that grease tray into my dishwasher just because I want to make sure they become extra, extra clean. But wait until you see my dinner. Check out the description box down below for Cuisamax indoor grill with a discount. So here's my dinner for tonight. We are keeping it Super simple with what we grilled on our Cusimax grill. By the way, highly recommend that grill. I couldn't believe how easy the cleanup was, how beautiful we have grill lines on everything. So I'm really excited for this. I just skipped the bun today and just focused on the patty with a big slice of cheddar cheese. I have some light mayo and some no sugar added ketchup and lots of zucchini because I can't resist the zucchini. I wanted to try my dinner with you guys on camera. I'm curious if, if I'm going to get that kind of barbecued vibe using that indoor grill. 
I love the grill. The grill is fantastic and super easy to clean up. So if you live in a climate where you can't barbecue year round, or maybe you don't have a barbecue, maybe you live in an apartment, it's perfect. And it's nice to have it indoors for when it's really hot or really, really cold. So let's test it. Mm, those turkey burgers, delicious from Distel. I got those from my Imperfect Food with one of my Imperfect Foods order. I always have Imperfect Foods down in the description box where you guys get $20 worth of free groceries, no minimum order. So definitely see if they're in your area. I love them. I get them every two weeks. That's where these turkey burgers actually and his zucchini came from. That buttery steakhouse blend is incredible on the zucchini. 10 out of 10. I'm so excited to share these with you guys. I bought these at Ross for like $3.99. You know how much I love the True Fruit brand, the frozen blueberries, raspberries, cherries, and the chocolate. I saw these and I had to get them. I'm obsessed with these. These are absolutely incredible. They are not in a cold section. They are just in the regular food section at Ross. They are chocolate covered banana slices. Oh my gosh. So you can see the banana chip on the inside. Look at all the chocolate. I want to go back to Ross to find some more. I don't know if you can purchase them anywhere else. I don't know if there's other fruit options. Oh my gosh. If you find these, buy them. Buy all of them. Thank you guys for coming along with me today and celebrating my dad's birthday. It was a pretty emotional day, but it was a really good day. I definitely feel a sense of peace now that I'm home. I mean, I'm a little bit sad, and I just keep thinking about memories as a child with my dad and growing up with my dad. He was a wonderful, wonderful dad, and it was really nice to actually get to spend his birthday with him and know that I can go back whenever I want. You know, it's a two hour drive one way, not bad at all. And I just feel a sense of closeness now that I live closer to him. So it was a really good day. And I really loved taking you guys with me, being real and vulnerable and letting you see what life is like. I mean, this is life for me. This is what I did on Monday, April 25th. So again, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the food through that I made, that I ate throughout the day. Definitely pick up the indoor grill from Cusimax. It is amazing. I mean, absolutely incredible. It's linked down below with a discount for you guys. If if you love this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Happy Wednesday, friends. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.